Hello and welcome to all the men and women of the West. I'm Joe and happy Tolkien Reading Day. Today, well, it's a very special day, especially for us Tolkien geeks. So I'm going to play a bit of Latro in celebration, playing as a hobbit. Grittius. Thank goodness you're awake. That fellow on here seems very ill. Oh, am dear faces. Wait, I'm back to this? Oh yeah, I'm redoing pretty much episode one. Do not trouble yourself on my account. Uh, and there's Strider, shield. Aragorn. Uh, there are too many deeds to be done. All pressing and none of them easy. I don't think I can wear that. Perhaps you can help, my friend. Captain Brackenbrook will not heed my warnings. Okay, let's... I was expecting someone taller. <laughs> Alright, um... Just gotta see if people will believe my warnings. Spoiler alert, they don't. <laughs> nah, they probably... Let's hear it. Okay, this believes it's safe from danger. So yeah, they won't. Oh, wrong way. Okay. What do you need? And see. <sighs> Ordinarily, I do. I discuss something regarding Tolkien or fantasy, but I can't really what think of anything. Um. Well, for one thing, I'll encourage anyone who watches this video to go watch the playlist for all the Tolkien tubers, they're, um, they all made some great videos. Timbo Tooks is really moving, is as is that of evil Girl Next Gondor and, and, and Red Book. You try to fight, you must learn what skills you may from the trainer. Can I be of service? This guy over here. What do you need? Okay. Not sure I follow. I'm a bit of a noob at this game. Oh, I'm not supposed to 
switch styles. Girl Next Gondor's topics is about Aragorn and how his kind of desire and ability to make fast friends kind of changed the world around him and allowed him to navigate the world of politics in a different way than what one might have expected from how a man with his kind of aspirations might otherwise have operated. And I've heard it said that by a lot of historians that they've tried to find, I think it's Alpha as an inspiration for uh, Aragorn. To an extent, yeah, but I also see, yeah, I know I'm a Scottish, more a Scottish historian, but and that's kind of like when you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. But it reminds me of Robert the Bruce, the Bruce who sought friendship uh, in the west of Scotland and forged very close ties with various m men of impressive skills and whatnot throughout, throughout Scotland and was able to reforge it from nothing. It kind of reminds me of more of that. Offa's situation was entirely different. Greetings. I think it was Offa. I could be wrong. Okay, so I think I did something wrong. Um, I have no idea what this is. I, don't know. Well, I know what it is, but I don't want to deal with it. such as Quick Frost and Shield Bash. Gambit attacks. Use your defensive skill. Attack a... Oh, okay. So let's see. Shield Bash. I think I made a mistake here. All right. Uh, okay. Over here.
tried to throw him. Sorry, still figuring it out. Generally, I'm a bit of a noob at this game. For anyone who's new here. If there is anyone new here. <laughs> Do you feel confident in what you have learned? No. <laughs> I can resist. My poor old friend. A shadow has crept over him. Ooh. I thought I was supposed to go that way. Oops. I, I don't like the look of those rangers one bit. Gee. Very kind of you. It's not like they're risking their lives to keep everyone safe. Oh. Wait. Red Book's video is about Baron and Luthien. Um, and he doesn't exactly make it a clear-cut topic in some ways. It's complicated, so... Mm, I can't really <laughs> narrow it down to a single point. But then you've got... Well, well. If it isn't uh, the rumor you, because the theme is love and friendship... Is here Timbo discusses um, the bond between Aragorn and Boromir, and he does a great reading of the text. So overall, I really do recommend it. Like all these videos, they're wonderful. I should probably have off the top of my head topic thought out for this video here, but I don't know. I'm currently in the midst of reading Rereading the West Words March of the Elves, because well, we're in the middle of starting recordings for our Silmarillion uh, podcast. currently taking notes for that, even as I'm editing the video for the first episode, which hopefully will be out next week, hopefully. I'm hoping it'll be an exciting episode, and yeah, we're, there's a lot to talk about. We discuss Melkor. Um, the music of the Ainur, the role that individuality, Catholicism, metaphysics, and uh, Platonic philosophy works uh, and has upon uh, the stories of J.R. Tolkien and upon the actual tale of the Ainur and Dale. So, nearby so yeah we're gonna be working hard on that did I get it wrong wolves okay. 
Search atop Bronway's Folly for the Source of the Wolves. Elder Cobb. Oh, yeah. I, I gotta go do the Bronway's Folly screen thing. I don't know what I was thinking. So, yeah, that's hopefully... Hopefully that's going to be good entertainment for people. Um, to be honest, when it comes to the Tolkien Reading Day video, I'm not entirely confident about my topic. Uh, Dan and I decided to do Thorin and Bilbo's friendship and how it overcame uh, dragon sickness and the history of all those who fell to dragon sickness. So as to put it in context, the idea like of just what it was that Bilbo helped save Thorin from. But maybe in a future v video we'll do on a similar topic, kind of topic of friendship between Bilbo and one of the dwarves. Maybe one on Bomber. Because I really, really liked Bomber. Well, anyone who's seen the Hobbit Book Club podcast knows that. <laughs> it's one of my favorite dwarves. One of them. Tolkien had such a special way with characters. And much as I love the uh, the triumph of How do I put it? The triumph of the individual in the Conan universe and the triumph of um, I guess you could say good and Uh, in the Dragonlands, there's something about the triumph of friendship and the love between people that Tolkien wrote about that just sets his universe apart in a lot of ways. And about the triumph, I think now that I think about it, also of the humble, so to speak. Such as little wee hobbits against the great greatest forces that the world can the most elemental forces in the universe um, out there. And the triumph of these humbler folk over destiny itself. There's something very, very special about such themes and the idea that the friendship and bonds between individuals that they forge does make a difference. And even if, let's say, um, they die kind of ignominiously, like, say, Mithros, Thingon, their friendship did matter, did make a difference. You have possibly the friendship of Belag and Turin. Ended in disaster, but it did make a difference. It did matter. In the overall story, it did. And... Yep. See? playing into the theme of Hamid's triumphing. But the idea of the ties that bind us mattering is very important in Tolkien's work, and it's very special about it. Although now it make, kind of makes me want to go rewatch uh, a goofy movie to think about the bonds between father and son, which is something that matters a great deal to me personally 
Um, Calder Cog in his face. <laughs> Danger has found you earlier than I predicted. I cannot decide well, only which is more dangerous right now. Non Disney Calder Cog's treachery end of things. The ignorance of Captain Brackenbrook. Boy, you there. Uh, let me go. The Calder Cog can vouch for me. What do you need? How can you say this? Calder Cobb has been loyal to me since he was a boy. I suppose it would be wise Yay! to investigate your claim. I got shoes. I wonder if I'm going to earn pants soon. since last night hey you there i'm hungry oh yeah i gotta do a lot of fetch quests now um well since i just guessed the value of the fiends and tokens work um and I think this video has gone on long enough. I think I'll end it here. And if you enjoyed this video, do leave a like and smash that subscribe button like you're uh, Gilgalad and Elendil trying to smite down Sauron in the name of their bond of friendship.